Matt, well, over the past year, Facebook has introduced several new features to help users get more out there, of the, get more out of their social media experience, including privacy updates. This morning, we're joined by digital media expert John McCulley. You're from Moxley Carmichael. Yes. Thanks so much for being here this morning. Well, we appreciate you it. Me. So you're going to explain to us a little bit more about what we need to know about what we're sharing on social media, and then who's actually going to see it. Absolutely. And Facebook's really helping out with that. They just launched two new initiatives called mm -hmm. Privacy Basics and privacy checkup in tandem and basically both of them are human termed ways for you to understand how privacy works on your Facebook page. Mm -hmm. Now f privacy checkup is a pop-up that you might see on your Facebook that comes up and it shows you what your current privacy policies are like how people see your posts, how people can tag you, can they share on my wall, so on and so forth and that'll pop up over the next few weeks. It's been out since September but people are just now seeing it roll mm -hmm. into the mix mm -hmm. um, and all that happens is it'll pop up with that pop-up window that says privacy checkup we want to inform you about your privacy then it's got a blue button on it that says let's do it and that's how you go okay um, now privacy basics is pretty cool because if you avoid the privacy checkup privacy basics is a page on Facebook that breaks down your privacy settings into three buckets what other people see on my Facebook how they can interact with me and then what I see mm -hmm. on Facebook so it lets you tailor your privacy settings to that and the page is written in 36 different languages and it uses real human terms to help you understand those settings like what can I do if someone's bothering me mm -hmm. what do I do if I don't want somebody to tag me in a photo so on and so forth so it's really really cool how they're doing that yeah that's really interesting I think I've had the checkup <laughs> and you can actually dismiss it say if you're busy at that moment don't have time to go through every single detail at Correct. that time but yeah it's really nice that Facebook's doing that for folks because privacy is really important why do you you think people need to make sure that they're doing this? Well, I don't think people understand how their data is used on Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when your photos go out there in the public, people don't understand that you're in control of that. You know, not everybody has to see what you post, and if you set those privacy settings correctly, you're going to really avoid some potential pitfalls with getting those. Uh, status updates mm -hmm. about your vacations, about you know Christmas time presents and stuff like that, out to people that might not need to see them. Not, yeah, <laughs> we were just talking about you know I have seen recently people putting on there I'm going on vacation for two weeks and then a picture of their house and where they live and th those kinds of things don't need to be out there for everybody to see. Correct. And you can choose specific people even by name, say who you want to be able to see your photos. Exactly. Say you just want your family. Exactly. Yeah. If you can limit it to family. A acquaintances, friends of friends, so on and so forth. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. All right, so what else is the site up to right now? Um, right now they're changing their data, cookies, and privacy policies just to better tailor how you understand how your data is going out there and what they can do with your data. And a lot of that's driven around advertising. Um, right now they're clamping down on advertisers on Facebook pages, um, basically saying if you're not paying for it, we're not going to let you put it out there. Mm -hmm. um, so you'll see less of the news feed posts where businesses put out, oh, I've got this great great product this is how you can buy it mm -hmm. unless they're paying for ads so that's a really cool thing cookies policy is going to deal with how you're logged into apps uh, Facebook apps Facebook games and stuff like mm -hmm. that um, and I hear that coming around the pike is the ability to block out games altogether so I'm hoping that comes up soon all right and then um, anything else that you think that people need to be doing this time of year when it comes to Facebook don't show the exact presence in the car where you're at mm -hmm. at the time people have a tendency to use that check-in feature um, a little bit too uh, too uh, with too much liberty mm -hmm. <laughs> um, you know and then just look for new stuff on Facebook look, I mean get educated about it they're doing great things around your channel now to give you restaurant menus, show that your friends are nearby. Try to use that stuff and, you know, see who's with you. Yeah. Get it's social. <laughs> it's, it's good to be social. If you're not on it, I mean, you probably, you're probably you going to be behind. Absolutely. Right? So it's one of those things, if you've been waiting, just go ahead and do it because it really will help you just to, to see a lot more than you than you are right now. Absolutely. And if people have any questions, they can tweet us at Mox Car and we'll be happy to answer them for them. Okay. So John McCulley from Moxley Carmichael, our digital expert. We appreciate you. Thank you so much. Well, you're watching Mornings with Fox 43.